When you were a child, do you remember what your parents told you? If you did not want to finish a meal, what were you told? Don't waste your food. There are children starving in many parts of the world, so finish everything on your plate. And it seems that collectively, the world ignored this advice. It's official. We've all been wasting food at an unprecedented scale. A new United Nations report says, humans squander one billion meals every single day, a billion with a B. This is taking place even as food insecurity is on the rise and food inflation refuses to slow down. Despite this, we keep wasting food. And this is costing the world a trillion dollars every year. Here's our report. 132 kilograms. That's the average amount of food every human wasted in 2022. Together, we wasted more than 1 billion meals every day. This is according to a new UN report. And this took place even though food insecurity has never been higher. In 2022, 783 million people faced acute hunger. A third of all humans faced food insecurity. But at the same time, food kept going to waste. Over 1 billion tons of food was wasted in 2022. And a majority of it was at the household level. 60% of all food waste was because of us. The unfinished meals put in the fridge, forgotten and eventually thrown out. The last few fries you threw away because they got cold. The fresh ingredients that got spoiled as you ordered takeout night after night. All of this adds up. It amounts to 60% of all food wasted. It's not just individual households that are at fault though. 28% of all food waste was generated by food services, the restaurants, cafes and canteens around the world. The remaining 12% was wasted by retail outlets. All those sketchy looking vegetables you didn't buy at the grocery store? They end up in a landfill. Combined, all of this amounted to over 1 billion tons of food wasted in 2022. And this isn't even the full picture. This is only a count of final food products. A lot is wasted during the harvesting and transport phases as well. Now, some of you may think that you aren't to blame. You never waste a meal. It must be the rich countries that are to blame. Sadly, that isn't the case. Per capita, people in poorer nations wasted only 7 kgs less than their counterparts in the global north. Food waste barely varied with a nation's wealth. And there's a scientific explanation for this. Many of the poorer nations are located near the equator. They face hotter temperatures, and so food spoils faster. Fresh meals are also more common in lower-income countries, which again spoil faster than processed junk. This brings waste levels between rich and poor nations at par. So we are all to blame. And all this waste has a real-world impact. You know what they say about demand and supply? The higher the demand, the higher the price. So our wastefulness is actually making food more expensive for everyone around the world. Then there's the climate problem. Wasted food is biological waste. When it goes into landfills, it decomposes and emits methane, a potent greenhouse gas. So that salad you wasted is contributing to global warming. Food waste is far more harmful than you might think. The UN report says it leads to about 10% of the world's annual greenhouse gas emissions. That's five times more than the entire aviation sector. Hunger, inflation, global warming. Food waste is contributing to all of this. We need to change course now to have a chance to wipe the slate, or should we say plate, clean.